Hey everybody, Chris here, Four Directions Bushcraft. Uh, today we're going to finish up this shelter. I uh, had a request um, to show how I built the double lean-to, uh, which is actually up the hill. This is going to be a smaller version of that. Um, right now, you can see Brianna and Brandon. They're sitting on what uh, is going to be the raised bed. Um, and we're going to run you through step by step just how to do that. Uh, it's real easy. Um, so stay tuned. Uh, we're just gathering stuff right now to make our shelter. Uh, what you're going to want to need is um, at least three good size logs. These could actually be a little bigger depending on how high you want your bed. And what we're going to do is we're gonna just going to stack these right where you want your bed. About that high. Do we need to cut it? See, this one's a little higher, so you want them. You want them about that thick. This one's a good size one, but we will. Uh, we'll work with these. So anyway, you want to stack them three high like that, and then we're gonna get our stakes. You want your stakes about I don't know two feet, maybe a foot and a half. And you're just going to um, take your mallet that I made in the other video. You can look that up. And you're just going to pound a stake in here on either side. So you're four stakes per bed post. Your bed lats are going to lay this way. So we'll pound these in. And this will actually let me stack more logs in here, actually. You want them uh, a little bit higher than the bed posts. So I'll continue to do that, and then I'll do it on this side, and we'll show you. So we're just making some more stakes for this side now. And this cedar is really knobby, and so I'm just kind of shaving it down, shaving all these off of them. And then I'm going to sharpen the points. That's really simple. You just take your hatchet, sharpen a point on there. So we shaved a point on that one. I'm not going to have to use a, a stake right here because obviously the tree's right there. So we got this one here. We'll just drive it into the ground. I want it higher up than my bed posts. And this one here, same thing. Just shave off all of this, shape it into a point, and beat it into the ground over here, and then we'll cut you back on for the next segment. All right, so this is what we have so far. Stake, stake, bed posts, stake, stake. Our bed will go from there to there. Then our lean-to we have our post up here, our header, and then we'll run posts down the back of it, just like that one is. And you can run as many back here as you want, whether you're going to utilize a tarp or utilize a, a brush or cedar boughs or pine boughs or whatever. You can, you can put as many back there as you want. All right, so this is going to be the start of my bed. I want a thicker one up front and behind it, so I'm going to replace this one. I'm going to replace that one. I'll put it back. Um, I want a few thicker ones up here, if I could, because I'll be sitting on the edge of this a lot. 
you can have a few thinner ones in the middle but they all need to be about this size so this is about oh I don't know baseball size or whatever it is another way of doing it is to you see where this sits right here you can remove that cut a notch in here and then set this in the notch and that will seat them in there okay so beds taking form the back you could almost call that done uh, depending on what you're gonna stack up here if you got a tarp that's pretty much done if you just want it to be a brush shelter you can just keep adding to it I mean the amount you can add to the back of that is unlimited if it's just gonna be a brush shelter uh, you can fill in the sides here with brush and these sides if you wanted to make a double lean-to out of this you'd almost need to utilize this tree back here along with this tree right here and put two headers in one right here and one across there and then you could lean two sides up on it that would scoot your bed back you would have another bed here and then a fire in the middle so when you're trying to build a double sided lean to essentially you're going to do the exact same thing as this but you're going to look for four trees or three trees in the woods wherever you want it to be um, and then you're going to have your fire in the middle so to build the two raised beds three or four logs staked in with beams running across and your lean to behind you it's as simple as that really um, if you see with my bed I try to alternate so this is the root system to the top of the tree and then this one's kind of skinny but the next one I do the root system down there and the top of the tree down here that makes my bed a little more level uh, that's just a kind of a little tip on making your bed all right I'm making my fire reflector all I need is about three or four feet right here this stake is um, gonna be an extra feet extra couple of feet longer because I'm gonna pound it down actually and I'm just leaning them both back so I can stack logs up when you're cutting these it's good to utilize something like that tree to prop it up like this you can also utilize two trees to use as levers to break it and um, so now I can just use that as a as a sawhorse All right, everybody, so we pretty much got this built. With this space back here that I'm sitting in right now, I can always fill these in with more bed posts um, if I needed to. Um, I can also put my gear back here. I think that's what I'm gonna utilize it for. I'm gonna put my pack back here when I'm, when I'm sleeping. Uh, so I'll keep this open, but if you come up closer, you can look and see how my my posts end here so I can what I want to do is I want to pull this up and just replace it so I'm gonna replace it back here in order to hold my bed posts in now you can leave these higher up and you can build a headboard per se right here like leave this up to here leave this one up to here as well build a bed post do the same thing over there and you can fill this in with brush and everything that would be your mattress me I'm not gonna do that I have a sleeping pad I'm just gonna utilize that let's say I was out in the in the wilderness with nothing at all I would definitely do that I would leave these a little higher and I would uh, build a, a little headboard that would uh, contain my brush and I would fill this all with leaves, pine needles, pine boughs, cedar boughs, anything that I could do to make a mattress. I didn't bring any cordage with me this time. I didn't even bring my pack. Um, so anyway, we'll build this up and then we'll tie these two together up here. We'll build, uh, build it up to about there or whatever. And then off the back side, I can lay a... Um, I can lay a tree or a sapling that will hang over my fire 
that will uh, hold my pot. It'll act as a tripod, or I can build a little bitty tripod. It doesn't matter. Nice. Mm-hmm. Looks I'm going comfortable. Alright, we'll see you in a couple hours. Okay, good night. Night. Okay, so I wanted to mention one more thing. If you notice I got this going back at a steep angle. Almost the steeper the better because if it rains, I want it to go right down off the back. If it snows, I don't want the snow laying on top of it and weighting it down and breaking it. Also, I left all of these overhanging the edge of my bed so if I'm laying here and let's say I have a tarp here I'm still covered so I wanted these extended past my bed that's a good tip so say bye That's Brianna and Brandon from the Brianna and Brandon show. And those are poppers. And that's Brianna getting ready to film her show. Subscribe, like, share, comment, comment, and support. And support. And we'll see you guys on the next time. Mm -hmm. On the next one.